All right, so the key here, guys, is that this is an isosceles trapezoid. Uh, it gives us the area, tells us the leg length is 13, the height of the trapezoid is 12. I just had you guys draw a picture, okay? The thing that I don't think you guys probably drew was B sub 1 and B sub 2, labeling the two bases. Once you label those two bases, um, let's uh, just use the formula right now, because it gave us the area. Let's see if the formula can help us out. We have 198 equals, uh, we have B sub 1 plus B sub 2, and we're going to multiply it times the height. We know the height to be 12, and we're going to multiply this whole thing by 1 half. What number did we not use? 13. Yeah, 13. We didn't use a 13. Uh, the slant height thing right here is not in our formula. We just need the height and the two bases. Okay, so let's see. We can simplify this a little bit, but let's not simplify it yet. Let's notice the obvious problem. We're trying to find the length of the longer base. B sub 1 is my longer base, but I have two variables right here. If I have two variables, I can't solve for it. So is there anything else that we can put on this picture that we haven't. And if you guys spent time looking at it, I'm hoping that you guys would have said, yes, um, we could find the length of this and this. Why? Because there's a right triangle right here. And I have two of the sides. If I have two of the sides, I can use the Pythagorean theorem to find the missing side. So let's try it. So that's going to be 13 squared equals 12 squared plus, and we'll call this x, x squared. So that's 12 squared is 144, that's 169, 169 minus 144 is 25, 25 equals x squared, and then we square root both sides to be 5. So this is no longer x, it's 5. I messed up my shape. And this is 5 right here also. Oi, that's 5, okay. So... What's the length of this guy right here? Is that B sub 2? Is it? Is it? Yeah, it's B sub 2. So what we can do is we can take out the B sub 1, and we can say, oh, it's B sub 2 plus 5 on that side and plus 5 on that side. So it's really adding 10, right? So instead of writing B sub 2 or B sub 1, I can write that. So let's rewrite our formula. We have 198 equals 1 over 2, and we're not writing b sub 1, we're going to write b sub 2, let's write it in green to help you guys see, b sub 2 plus 10, and then I have plus b sub 2, okay, we're back to this part right here, and we're multiplying that by, by 12. Now, I'm happier. Why am I happier? There's only one variable in here. We just have to simplify and combine like terms right here. So how many b sub 2's do I have right here? There's two b sub 2's, so let's simplify the right side. We have... Let's go ahead and get rid of this 1 half and the 12. What's 1 half times 12? 6. Six, okay, and then we have 2b sub 2s plus the 10 right here. I'm pretty sure you guys can finish this without me, but I'm going to go ahead and do it just for reference. Where you distribute the 6 right here, or you can divide by 6, but I'm going to distribute 6. We have 12b uh, sub 2 plus 60. We have 198 over here. Subtract 60 from both sides. So I get 138 equals 12 b squared, or I'm sorry, not b squared, b sub 2. What times 12 gives me 138? Anything? Actually, I don't think anything is. Let's see, 138, let's show my work here. I divide by 12, we have 1, we subtract 12, so we get 1, we have 18, we have 1 again, so we have 12 minus, and then we have, what's left over? 6? Six? 6. So we have 6 over 12. 6 is left over, so that's actually 1 half. 6 over 12 is 1 half. Oi! So our answer is not very pretty. B sub 2 is 11.5, or 11 and a half. You can write it either way. Is this my answer? No. Hey, no, foos. It says, find the length of the longer base. Okay, so this 11.5, you plug it in right there to that B sub 2, and you add the two 5s to it, or you add 10, and you'll get your B sub 1. So B sub 1 is going to equal 11.5 plus 10. Uh, maybe I should put that plus 10 in green so you know where it's coming from. Plus 10. Once I add plus 10, what do I get? Yeah, 20. No, not 22. You're crazy. 21.5. Add an extra one there. That's your answer. That is a crazy problem. This problem is here because we do have to use the, isosceles or the trapezoid area formula to help us find it. Okay, but it was very in-depth. I, I would call this like a level 3 or 4 problem. Okay, this is a high-level problem right here for you.